Hey everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome to my shop. Today is January 4th and this is my weekly shop update. So I hope everyone is having a fantastic year so far in the four days that it's been 2016. <laughs> I know I've been having a great uh, start to the year. As you can see, the sofa table is coming along very nicely and we'll get into that in a little bit. First up, viewer projects. The first one is from Greg over at Greg's Garage. This is an iPad recipe holder. I really like this a lot. Um, it's zebra wood and mahogany and what is really cool is the metal that he mixed into the wood to make it both functional and I think beautiful. So I thought that was really cool Greg. If you're not familiar with Greg's YouTube channel I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. One video you might find interesting is the one he recently did on his cam clamping um, work table. So it's kind of like a Festool MFT table but he made it himself and it's pretty handy looking so I'll leave a link to that video as well. So the next project comes from Adam and this is a walnut media stand. Really awesome piece um, metal for all of the I guess the structural pieces, the, uh, the base and the supports and all that fun stuff and then walnut for like the flat shelf areas and I really like this concept because it has a really nice open feel and I just, I just like it. <laughs> Adam's a really great guy. I met him this weekend. He stopped by to pick out some slabs and he does have a YouTube channel where he kind of went through some of the builds that he's done with his furniture in the past and I'll have a link to his channel down below as well. So this next project is from Corey. This is a really cool ambrosia maple slab top coffee table with a crack down the center and the crack he filled with epoxy and graphite and I think that thing looks super cool. The base is made from cherry and the center stretchers are what actually support the top and it lifts that top above the base a little bit so it gives a kind of an impression of it's floating which is really cool. This last project is also a table, it's from Chris. This is an end grain table, basically a cross section of a log or what's called a cookie. And he said this was originally going to be a piece of firewood. He filled the cracks with epoxy and then he made a torsion table and a router flattening jig to actually flatten the whole uh, slab. So after a ton of sanding he attached that slab to some metal legs and it looks awesome. Really like that one a lot. <laughs> if you want to have your project featured here on the show feel free to email me some pictures and a description of your project and any links to your website or your social media or whatever you want me to share and I'll be sure to include that in the shop update. <laughs> so what's going on here in the shop? Well, besides the sofa table, which we'll get into, I have a new tool and I did, just, I did just do a video on new tools for 2015, but this one got snuck in January 1st. <laughs> so Dima actually made this marking knife for me and he made a video a few weeks ago, I think, on making these knives. So this is actually made from an old uh, jointer blade and it's wrapped with a nice wood handle with some brass pins and it is really nice. Um, when I saw his video about making these things I was like that looks pretty awesome and then he gave it to me. <laughs> he gave me one to me. There's two others and uh, I'm just blown away. This thing is so beautiful and it has a really nice weight to it. There's a lot of steel here and it just feels really nice because all the weights in the handle so it has a really nice feel. And I was curious because you know why not and I went ahead and I weighed this just because I want to see how heavy it was. This is two ounces and then my large marking knife I have here is about an ounce. So this thing is a lot heavier than the other one and it's really sharp. <laughs> so thank you so much Dima. If you haven't seen his video of making these knives I'll leave a link to his channel or I guess his video in the description. You can check that out as well. <laughs> so on to the sofa table. I got a lot of progress on the table done this week. As you can see there's a lot here. I'm really happy with the way it's coming out so far and let's take a look at the work I did this week on the table. I cut a shallow dado for the stub tenon in the divider and then set the divider in that dado to transfer the locations of the tenons. With the tenon locations marked I can come back with the router and make the full depth plunges. And then since the tenons are square and these mortises are round, I have to go back with the chisel and square them up real quickly. And a little test fit.
Next I'll cut the grooves and install the back panel. And now for some final assembly, I'll drill out the holes for the pins in the breadboards. And transfer the locations to the tenons in the panels. Drill those through and elongate the outside holes to allow the panels to expand and contract. And then I can do the final attachment of the breadboards. And while those were drying, I cut the tapers on the bottoms of the legs. I just did those on the bandsaw real quick and then cleaned them up with a hand plane. Next I can start working on the curves, so I made a template of the curve I was going for, drew it onto the subtop and cut it out at the bandsaw, and then flush trimmed it with the router. I did that for the long curve and the short curve, and then I could use the subtop as a pattern to route all the other or the other two panels to the first one, so they're all the same. And now I can work on the dividers, getting that front edge to match the curve of the rest of the table. Use my marking knife to just mark the curve and then hand plane back to the line for a perfect fit. And now for the top, I start by scribing the offset I want or the overhang I want from the table onto the top. And then I'll cut that out at the bandsaw and then clean it up with some hand planes just back to that scribe line. So this part of the project is always great because it's really coming together and I can really just see what, you know, what exactly it's going to look like. Because although the, the renderings of the project are one thing, but the seat with the wood that you selected, the boards you selected for exactly the project parts you wanted to use them for, this is when it really starts coming together and the finish line is right there. <laughs> so that also feels really nice. <laughs> there are just a few things left to do on the table. All I have left is to add the perimeter inlay banding in the top and then a drawer and the finish. And that's really it. Not a whole lot left there at all. <laughs> so I'll hopefully be wrapping this up this week. So a really big announcement this week. <laughs> um, about, I think it's a couple months ago now, I was a guest host on Wood Talk and then about two weeks ago, Matt Vanderlis announced that he was not going to be continuing to do wood talk anymore, which was kind of sad for me. But at the same time, they asked me to come on and replace him. <laughs> so I'm upset in one, in one sense that I'm not going to be able to hear Matt on wood talk anymore. But at the same time, I'm also really excited because I am one of the new, well, one of the hosts, the new host, the new co-host <laughs> of wood talk. So the new episode should be out by the time you watch this. I'll have a link to the new episode in the description. Make sure you head over there, listen to that, subscribe to the podcast, all that good stuff. I'm really, really excited. It's, it's just, it's crazy. <laughs> Things are getting crazy. <laughs> oh, don't fall down. <laughs> I just have this sitting on my shop stool. <laughs> Oh, it could have been, could have been some bad words right there. <laughs> so before you go, one last thing I wanted to let you know about. A few weeks ago, Charlie from the Jack Bench Woodworking Channel stopped by my shop and did a quick interview and a walk around shop tour kind of thing. That video went out last week. I'll have a link to his videos in the description if you want to take a look at those as well. So thank you always for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments about anything I talked about today or anything here in my shop, please feel free to leave me a comment. As always, I appreciate those, and I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. And until next time, happy woodworking. <laughs>